Hello, welcome to a new video. Now, I thought I'd do this a little bit different since it's just unboxing something quite small, and I thought I would plug it into the rig and see what you do to set it up. So, it's the the Simutech SDU3, and the box is quite nice. The picture of it on the back. Sorry about the reflection of the ring light. Um, so I thought we'd unbox it. Uh, I've got a USB-C cable here plugged in ready to give it its first power on. Um, I can't do the top, sort of hook it up to the base properly because the base is behind the screen. Um, I've ordered um, a mount um, from Grid and they forgot to send it. <laughs> I ordered it weeks ago and I thought I'd email them and uh, they said, oh, they're not sure what went wrong. Um, we'll send it out now. But it's coming from the Netherlands. so. Uh, this arrived first. I was hoping they'd arrive sort of the same time, but uh, what I've done is I've ordered the other DDU mount that Simutech make, and that should be here tomorrow. So I'll have a bit of a play with it, mount it to the rig, and then I'll do a follow up video on messing around with it and you know what you can do. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, this is the first DDU I've tried. Uh, it's, it came recommended to me by a few people that I race with. It's quite popular you can do it cheaper you can do put your phone on there or a, or a tablet uh, or you can get a cheap chinese one or even make your own some people will 3d print their own case put a screen in there and make their own so there are much cheaper ways of doing this um but i thought on the black friday it was about uh, 40 or 50 quid off so i thought okay let's uh, let's get one because I have got a wheel with a screen, but it's on the other rig. It's my old Thrustmaster one, and I use it a lot. Uh, when I'm on it, uh, I'm always using the screen. So uh, I thought, yeah, it would be nice to have one. So let's get into the unboxing. I thought I'd do it here instead of on a table, because it'll only take a minute or two to unbox this, and then... I'll end up coming in here with it anyway to do a second part, so I may as well just... Okay. Right then, have a look what we got. So, USB-C cable to USB-A. I'm not sure on the length of it. Um, the USB-C part has a... Uh, 90, 90 degree bend on it. So... Good stuff. A uh, bunch of stickers. I'm not really one for stickering up my, my rig. I put that somewhere. <laughs> right. There's a QR code there. I'm assuming that's for yeah, for the user guides. And then uh, there it is. So there's two types of bolts they include for the wheelbase um it does come with a mount so if your wheelbase is in front of the your monitor you can just mount it straight away it's quite heavy actually that is a, actually a lot bigger than I thought. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Give that, that screen a bit of a... Particles on. So, that's it. So, it's a five-inch screen. There's the mount on the back, so... There we go. Wild to focus. That's how you mount it to your the wheelbase. So, you can... Different heights here, you just the height of it and uh, USB C socket. So, yeah, it's all solid billet aluminium. And it's actually really nice. Let me just, uh, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice size. For some reason, I thought it was going to be smaller. I pictured a five inch screen being, being smaller than that, but uh, really nice. Let's plug it in. Okay, now what I've done 
plug this in. No. Anything. The screen backlight kind of powered up. Don't really see it, but yeah. So let's now switch to. There we go. So I'm on their site now. I thought I'd bring this up and set up installer here. Let's download this. version is installed so <clears throat> yeah so lovely dashboard is what people uh recommend so i'm going to try that first and uh sim hub there you can add sim hub at the same time but i've already <clears throat> excuse me i've already got the newest one so save your current session right so got close sim hub yeah. It's doing its thing now, so hopefully this will power up or at least show us something on the screen. Okay, so what have we got here? Install dash fonts. <clears throat> Requires a sim hub restart. Or into sim hub live. Sim hub was installed successfully. Let's launch sim hub. I know it's the wasn't uh, there was only one other review that I could find. Um, with this there was a couple about the um the STU two that I found. Uh, Dave Cam did one did a good video on the STU two. Okay, so then go. I see. Think add a new device. So here we go. So somewhere here. SDU3. Yep, so we've got something going on there. Turn off the touch screen as well, so you can cycle between screens. Right now, so this is this, so touch screen enabled.
main dashboard. Okay, so here's the list. Sorry. I'm sort of winging this. I didn't... I, I thought I could either do loads of research into it, or I can just do it the same way you would by just unboxing it and then having a play around, so... What have we got? Lovely dashboard. There we go, so it's loading. Lovely dashboard now. Version available. Waiting for sim. Oh, hang on. Uh, what game? What? Let's just launch PC. See what, uh, what the dash does. Oh, cool. There we go. I've just launched ACC now, sitting in a car. Got the engine. Yeah, that's a right. So there's a pit limiter. Right, so you configure the bottom LEDs to be flags. Uh, it, it sounds like you can do pretty much anything with this. That is really, I say. Oh, I'd love to mount it now. I want to want to use it. It doesn't obstruct as much as the screen as I thought it was going to. I um I was a little bit worried it might be a bit weird that uh, covering part of the screen, but I think it's just just a nicer. Try some of the other. The other dashes, so. There's that one is called the mobile dash and I have to make sure that that's called mobile dashboard. Pretty much just a ref counter. An info. Oh right, okay. Pull through them with your mouse wheel. The board. Huh? Oh, that is so cool. Leave a set of course and out. Yeah, so you can pretty much, I think you can make your own. There we go. 
think you can make your own um, sort of dash and pretty much do anything you want with this. So I'll I'll do a bit more of a. I'll to focus on. Do more of a deep dive of it uh, when I've when I've got it mounted, and yeah, look looks really good. Not cheap, because uh, like as I said, I saved about fifty quid. Um, so it came out to with delivery on Black Friday. It came out to three hundred and nine. So it's 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 not cheap, but it's in theory the only one you'll ever need. So. Yeah, I like I like my gadgets. I'm really looking forward to delving into this. You don't have to actually mount it there like that. You could mount you could mount it to a piece of profile and have it have it next to you. That would still be pretty cool, but uh, it's real right of place is right there behind your window. So yeah, great stuff. I'll unplug that now. Okay, so. That's it until um until the the mount arrives. So as soon as it gets here, I'm gonna have a play with it. I'll probably um mess around with it for a couple of days, and then I'll see what the other guys are using and if they use anything specific. Um, I think I, I think most people use Lovely Dash at the moment. So I'll see what they're doing, how they use theirs. Once I know a bit more about what you do with all this, then yeah, yeah, I'll do, I'll do it. But uh, yeah, so that, that that's it really. Just a short video of an unboxing and just showing some pretty lights. So I'll leave you guys there. So thanks very much for coming, and I'll see you very soon, probably in some some racing. Take care, guys. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.